Hi guys, it's Shami from Crafts Names and Things. So today I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous necklace. So this video is sponsored by Panda Hall, where you can find affordable jewelry making supplies at a great price. So um, they sent me um, some supplies to use. I got to pick them out. So I have these beautiful beans. Um, they're iridescent blue. They're really quite gorgeous. And they're seed beads, only they look like tubes. Okay, but they're really pretty. They're glass beads. And then I have these beautiful silver um, beads too. Okay, and they come just like this in this package. You get tons of the blue beads like that. And then I have two jump rings here. And I also, I don't know if you can see them, but they're here. Um, two little um, crimp beads. And you can't really see them. And then I have a lobster clasp too. So, and then I have a piece of jury wire. This is just standard wire. Um, it comes in a roll um, and you can just use it for your jewelry making and Panda Hall sells all the stuff that you see here and then this is a birthstone bullet necklace so it's actually a real stone and um, it has a place um, that you can you know put the wire through it's a really beautiful pendant isn't that gorgeous so that's kind of what inspired this design, I decided to use silver and blue because I think it goes really beautiful um, with these bullet charms, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the bullet charm first and the pe this piece of wire is 28 inches long. Um, I really want a nice long necklace. So that's how large I cut mine to, okay? And put that in the center and that's gonna be my vocal point, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is on each side, I'm just gonna make a pattern with these beads. So I'm gonna do 10 of these beautiful blue beads. So I'm gonna do 10 of the blue beads, okay? Can you see those? And then I'm gonna do one of the silver beads, okay? And I'm gonna keep doing that on both sides until I have about two inches left, okay? Okay, on the ends here okay and then I will come back and I will show you how we finish up this necklace so you're just going to put on 10 of these blue beads it's very very easy you're just gonna stick them through just like that and you'll do that on each side so you'll just do 10 of them and this will you know take a while but just grab just look at a TV show that you enjoy <laughs> and in a couple hours you'll have a beautiful beautiful necklace okay and you can do whatever pattern you want I mean normally I really don't worry about it but I kind of want this one to have a little bit of a pattern and you'll see here too that you know these beads really don't catch but that's okay I mean it's just gonna end up how it's gonna end up I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just going to do a pattern with 10 of those beads and 10 of those and I can just actually pull it till the other end if I want or do it from side to side. Just do each side um, with 10 beads and then a silver bead, 10 beads and a silver bead. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll move on to the next step. So the necklace is all beaded. This is the way it looks. It's very, very pretty with all those gorgeous beads. And that's the pendant. Um, I didn't really count. I just kind of spaced out the beads. As I thought that they looked good. So I didn't count. Um, so what I have here is I have my crimp beads. And I'll bring you in a little closer. My lobster claw. And I have a jump ring too. Okay. And normally I would use a smaller jump ring. But I'm out of them. So I'm going to use a 12M one right now. Okay. Alrighty. So what I have here is I have the edges of my wire. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. And I'm going to put the crimp bead on. Okay. And we're going to work with one end and the other. I just want to make sure that my beads don't come off. So I'm going to get that one out of the way. And all I'm going to use is my flat nose pliers. Okay. 
I'm going to take it, I'm going to put the crimp bead on. And what a crimp bead is, is it crimps the edges and kind of, it just creates a beautiful finish on your necklace and then you can trim off the excess wire. It's very cool. I didn't discover these until I was watching the Frugal Crafter, which is awesome. So kudos to her. <laughs> and then these are lobster claw clasps that I got from Panda Hall. Okay, so I'm going to put that on next, okay, and then I'm going to take the end of my wire and I'm going to put it through that crimp bead, okay. Alrighty, did you see that? So I put it right through there and I made a loop, okay, and then I'm going to pull it through as much as I possibly can, just like that, okay, okay just to make sure that it's nice and tight, okay? And then I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and they do have crimp bead pliers, um, but I I can't afford those, so I just use my flat nose pliers, it works the same. Okay, so there's lobster claws, there is the crimp bead, but Panda Hall does have great prices on their pliers, so you could probably get them for a great price there. I'm gonna take it, I've seen them at Michael's, they're like $25, so which is a little out of my price range right now. So there's the lobster cloth, there's the crimp bead, and all you do is just press it down, just like that. And you just wanna pull it as tight as you possibly can, those beads, okay? You're gonna take it, and you're gonna crimp it down. That's all you do is crimp it. That's why it's called a crimp bead. And it creates one of those, and if you have a necklace, you've seen that too, that flat bead. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my wire cutters and I'm gonna trim off the excess um, little tail here of wire, okay? Just like that. Alrighty. As close as I can to Okay, just like that. Alrighty. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that with the other end. So I'm going to take the crimp bead. Again, this is the other end. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my jump ring. Okay, and then I'm going to take this. And that's just um, so that I'll have a place to put the lobster clasp. And I'm going to again take the end, this end right here, and I'm going to put it through the crimp bead. Okay, so the crimp bead has a hole in it, okay? Just like that. It's a little tricky, so just be patient. Take your time. You'll get the hang of it, okay? And you're just gonna pull it through, just like that, as tight as you can. Sometimes you'll even have to use your pliers just to make, because you just want a little bit of a loop, okay? Just like that. Alrighty. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna give it a crimp. Ready? One, two, three, crimp. So you just press it down, okay? And then again, we're gonna take our excess wire and we are going to trim that off. Just like that. As close as we can, okay? And see if you pull on it, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and what we have now is we have a beautiful necklace that was very, very simple to make. I'm gonna pull you back out. Isn't this beautiful? And this is how it looks when it's all done. Let me, I have a white mat here. It can be a little fuzzy though um, for my camera, but you can see it, it's really beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very delicate and pretty. And I just love um, this beautiful charm that's a bullet. Isn't that pretty? And you have a beautiful necklace that took you no time to make. And if you didn't have the pin it, like if you could just find these beads, that would make a beautiful necklace too. I love seed bead necklaces. Um, I just think they're so beautiful. My big sister makes them for me all the time. I'm my mentor. And I just love them. I always treasure them. But this is a really fun project. Hopefully you guys do it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can find all the supplies on Panda Hall. Please check out their website for affordable 
um, crafting and jewelry supplies. Um, they have a lot on there. Um, a really good company. So um, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to like and subscribe. And I will have a picture on the end of the finished necklace. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Have a fabulous day.